Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargard.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to create a hyperlink to the bottom of a list of a worksheet. So I've got these five uh, names listed, column B, which are the names of the sheets of this workbook. And I've varied up the size of the lists slightly. So you see Canada is a smaller list than Germany, for example. And what I want to do in this table of contents sheet is click a link and it will take me straight to the bottom, you know, the next new row of these lists. So it needs to be able to detect that bottom of the list itself. Now for this, we're going to need a formula. I'm going to begin in cell C3 here with the hyperlink function. So I've done videos on this in the past, so some of you watching this may have seen uh, some of those videos, and this may not be new for you. But this function will create that kind of dynamic link that jump to another cell. And I can set up the link location here by simply concatenating the text function there, the different parts of the link location, the link address which is going to be a hashtag to start with. So that would indicate it's in this file. I could then join that with the contents of cell B3 because that is the name of the sheet that it's going to. And then I can join onto that a exclamation mark and cell A2. Now the exclamation mark indicates that it's a sheet reference as part of the sheet reference. Canada exclamation mark, Germany exclamation mark. A2. If I close bracket there and put in my comma and just put in some text for that hyperlink, what we have at the moment is a formula that links dynamically to the right sheet but currently only goes to cell A2. The ultimate goal here is to go to the bottom of that list. Let's first of all just check this out. So if I click on the one for France, it shoots me to the France sheet. And if I click on Germany, it shoots me to the Germany sheet. So that's definitely working okay. It's just only taking me to A2. Now for this to take us to the new sheet at the bottom, we're going to have to find out what the last row is, or the next new empty row is. And then we're going to have to join that into that address as well. So first of all, away from that formula, let me show you how we can find the next new row. Now I'm going to use the count a function. So the count a function counts any cells that are not empty. Bear in mind, if you have empty cells in that range as well, ideally you wouldn't, but if you do, there's also a function called count blank, which we can maybe join as well and kind of add them together add how many blank cells and how many non-blank <laughs> and you've got the bottom of the list. I just need count A right now, I don't have any blanks. And now it wants to know what to count. And I'm going to have to use a function called indirect here. Once again, you may have heard me speak about this function before, it's brilliant. It returns the reference specified by a string. So if I can create a text string of the address of where to count, indirect will convert that to a reference. Because the count a function needs a reference. It won't understand text, it has to be a spreadsheet reference. And the brilliance's function is that it can convert words into references. It's a kind of translation, if you will. Now the text I want it to reference um, is cell B3, so the name of the sheet. And then I'm just going to put in my ampersand. This is another way of concatenating. You can use the concatenate function, or you can use that symbol there, the ampersand. Uh, exclamation mark A colon A. I'm saying, can you just count everything that's in A of that sheet? Closing bracket for indirect, closing bracket for count A plus one. So what this is doing, is it's going over to the Canada sheet, counting what's in there. There's 10, adding one on top, 
that's 11, that is the next new row. And we'll do the same for Germany. Count how much is in there, 22, add one on top, 23. And I can see that's doing its job. All that is remaining is to get inside and grab that formula. And I'll copy that into the other formula I have. So I'm going to take off that 2 because it's no longer row 2. So just exclamation mark A. Don't know what the row number is. And I'll put a comma in and paste in that formula. So that is finding out the row number for it. So we'll add on 11 onto that, A11, A23. That is, I believe, OK. Let me press Enter. Let me copy that down. And let's check it out. Let's check out Brazil. Here we go. It's in the row at the bottom, 23. Let me check out Canada. It's in 11. It's in the row at the bottom. Or the next new row, to be precise. I no longer need that stuff in there anymore. And that is it. If I bring that back up on screen, that, <laughs> sorry about the, uh, the, the colour in the font, but that is a formula that will create a dynamic link to any sheet and it will take you to the bottom of a list. It will always find the bottom of a list, even if that list grows and shrinks over time. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargard.com.